already saw this, but just in case. 102.7 KISS FM. Lisa Loeb has joined us this morning. I'm in my 30s, and I really want to be a mom, and I want to be married, and I want all that stuff that I sort of ran away from. I'm moving to New York. Well, that might be fun. Oh, my gosh. There's a thing called air traductions. You find out if there's some other single person on your flight. No. And then you actually have the date on the plane. (laughs) I wonder if there's a way to back out of it. About to meet my air introductions date, Alan. He's a writer. Wish me luck. Hey, Alan. I'm Sasha. I'm Lisa. Nice, nice to meet you. How are you doing? Good. The flight to New York is six hours, which means our date is six hours. If it doesn't work out, there's nowhere to go. And the old fake cell phone trick won't work. You said you wrote a book? Yeah, I can invite you to the book party if you want. Do you have a when- oh, Here's the flyer. Then there's a reading Barnes and Noble and there's a big after party. Good food. Oh, yeah. Do you like food? Oh, yeah. Right now, my favorite cuisine is Greek. Oh, Greek is good. Yeah. What do you like in Greek food? Pasticcio. Oh, yeah. That's kind of like milkshake on top of the lasagna. Yes, that's right. Like a meat cappuccino. That's good. That's that one's that's good? Okay, okay, I'll do that. That's one. the worst one. Okay, I'll Yeah, that was good. Okay, my head looks weird, but I also can't. It's a camera favorite. phone thing. We yeah, whatever. Think. You know, if you have a really good first date with somebody, you know what you're supposed to do? What? You have a second date. Really? Hello? Mom? Hi. How are you doing? Good. I just got to New York. How is it? It is awesome. I actually had a date on the airplane. He was nice. It was nice. He was easy to talk to. I'm planning on coming in next week. I was thinking maybe we could go out and shop for some things for your apartment. That would be really good. Okay, well, I'm so glad you called. And just take a deep breath and enjoy it. It should be a lot of fun. I know. I'm just I'm so excited to be back in New York. Great. Dude, nice time. Hello. Are you in your PJs? I am. <laughs> in case you missed the last episode, this is my sister Debbie and my friend Stephanie. You know, we're kind of our own support group, except we don't meet in a church basement. Oh, Look at this. All the refrigerators are under the island. You don't need a gym because we've got the stairs. Oh, yeah. Look at the bedroom. Oh, nice. Mike's got a great bed. Isn't this good? Oh, I love it. I can't believe Lisa is in New York, and she already had a date coming here on the airplane. His name is Alan, and he's a writer, and he has a book coming out. We should go to his book party. Yeah. I would love to. That sounds great. Yeah. So you guys, you have to come see my outside. It's awesome. I can't believe you have an outdoor. Wait, I have an email from Alan. Ooh. The dude? Already? already? I know, that's fast. That's good, right? though. That's, that's great. Good. He wants to go on a date, a New York date. Okay, tell him yes. Oh, wait, I think he wants to take me out tonight. My first night in New York, and already I have a second date. I heart New York. Hi. Hey. How are you? <laughs> a cough club. I want you a, uh, hey, a three you? iron. Thank you. Every apartment uh, in New York needs a three wood. This is great. Yeah. Seriously? Can I have yeah. this? Oh, yeah. So we're gonna I never got a golf, golf club as like a gift on a date. That's like a, a one of a kind thing. Uh, you know, some guys do flowers. <laughs> I'm a tiny bit hungry, I have to say. Not even well, a tiny we're, bit Well, we've got a few um, food stops along the way here. All, all of them extremely cheap. Mm. Right here, we're going to a, uh, a fried dumpling mm, place. They're like five for a dollar. Okay. They also make the most inexpensive possible lunch in the entire city. What, do you, what is it for It's you? this weird, like, sesame pancake with, like, tuna Ooh. fish. Mm. Mm. Thank you. I'm starting to. I like my favorite thing, walking and eating. Mm-hmm. Mm. Do you want another bite? No. None? Never? All right. Yeah, you do. Look at that great, like, middle center bite. Mm. That was a good bite you got. Mm-hmm. Let's see if Donut Plan is open. Really? So, donut plant! Oh, toasted all- They certainly look Pumpkin. like they're going to be fresh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, it was so oh, cold wow. out there, I fogged up. Wait, 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 wait. 
Do you, want, do you mind trying everything? Let's, yeah. Because is that Let's okay with you if I eat a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of everything? Can I get this? There you go. Oh, this is so great. Oh, this is so good. Mmm. Mmm. I love this donut. You're really working your way through the donut. I mean, I respect that. Don't don't be like sad no. about it. Just be happy about it. I'm happy. I'm like, here, let me just eat all the, uh, the icing. Please. Will you eat that? No, you eat it. Right. Please. Please. If you go home. I'll split it with you. One more dinner. No, you eat it. Eat. Mm. Eat. 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 That was delicious. <sighs> well, thank you very much. Donuts in a three wood. Is he too good to be true? Uh, why am I so cynical? How was it last night? It was, it was fun. He took me to get donuts. Oh, come on. I don't know, New York is, that is good. working out well so far. God, seriously, like you get here, you hit the ground running, you go on a date immediately with some nice yeah. guy who brings you to eat donuts. Cream-filled donuts. I think there was like a pumpkin donut and a coconut donut oh, and a chocolate donut. Oh, my lord. <laughs> It was good. It was a little distracting. He so. was distracting you from eating the donuts. No, no, no. The donuts <laughs> were distracting me from talking to him. I'm going to the Isaac Mizrahi show, okay. but I just need I need a hair. I haven't had my haircut forever, and I wanted. To, I thought it'd be a perfect day to get oh. it. What do you um, think? I well, mean, I mean, I like this getting longer. Yeah, look at that. Look, jawline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is good. All right, so let's okay. get shampoo. Every girl needs her trusted stylist to help conceal the effects of a donut dinner. Should I try putting one side behind my ear? Because I, I, I swear by the time I get uptown, yeah. and it's two hours later and I'm on TV, this right is going to go cool. It's like perfect, and I think that um, with the teasing and everything, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stay. It really will. Yeah, we got to get there. I'm always running late. I had the driver get, woo, did he get in here? Oh, no, my hair. Ginger. Oh, okay, thank you. Hi, how are you? Okay, you are, we are feeling on at 3.30. Oh, and you're our first guest. So you have a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Oh, I don't want to interrupt. How are you, so guys? I'm oh, so happy. This is Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Hi. I'm so excited that you have this show. I'm really excited that you're coming on the show. Show me your panties. Okay, last time I showed him my really cute dragon underwear on TV. My mom didn't think that was so cute. Oh, I didn't bring cute ones this time. You didn't? I was, I've been wearing Lisa. really cute ones for the last few days, so I wanted to do like Kitty and Hello Kitty and like this and that. Right, 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 right. right. These right, were just right. boring. Are they a thong? Of course. I didn't know that. Oh, Lisa wears a thong all the time, all the time. Except for now when I wear like also the boy ones. Right, we'll okay. talk more, we won't Thank use them all, right. all over. Not at all. The devil made me do it. Isaac, is this okay? Like these underwear? Wow! All right. Like, See, now you're talking. So good with the boots. It's adorable. Wait, cool. See, I knew she was fearless, and she has a cute butt too. I would do that if I had a cute butt. Hi, mom. Coming up on number one single. Right now, we have a surprise for Lisa Loeb, right? Don't we? Yes. Didn't know if you saw the post thing. Me? I'm in the post? Uh, yeah. I heard about something that was in the newspaper. I had nothing to do with it. We have such a great show. Such a great show. We have the fabulous recording artist, Lisa Loeb. She's single again. Wait, being single is my new credit? Oh, no. Right now, we have I mean, a surprise for Lisa Loeb, right? Do. Don't we? Yes. Bring the chair on first. Oh, another chair. Because we decided to, like, go the extra mile. <laughs> no way. And find someone to set you up with. No this way. This guy that really is dying to meet you. Come on. OK, OK. Think of it as like a reality J date. OK. Right? <laughs> Let's bring him out. Jeff Thatcher, darling. Where are you, darling? Oh, oh what Jeff? Jeff, what's in the bonus? Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Lisa. Oh, sit oh, nice down. Wow, sit down. Wow, you're sit a brave down. soul. What's in the box? Do you need a coffee? That's a good question. Like, I did my research, and I think this is something that you would appreciate. And you can explain to the audience. I'm so excited. What, what could, could it be? A drum roll. Hello. <gasps> we'll have to do everything. Oh my gosh! This is. I know oh, what this is. This I is. I want that. Give me that damn thing. I love that. Thank I you. I want to have a date with him. That is so nice. Look, 
like it's this is what it is. A Hello Kitty rice steamer. Well, thank you for this. You know, I, yeah, I think we have to run away, but we'll talk. We'll talk. Okay, nice to meet you. Thank you. Thanks for being here. I mean, I think I, that I physically blushed when that guy came out and there were no cameras on me. I hope, by the way, but like, oh my God, the thought of that, I, am, I commend you, I could not do that. On camera, it's such a protection. It's like being on stage. I can be almost more myself because there's this invisible wall. Yeah, but you know someone else is going to be watching. Yeah, but then it's sort of less real when there's a camera. I'm going to go meet my mom. I got to get out of here. Lisa, oh, look at her shoe. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Oh, I see. A Jewish mother, her single daughter, and a bride and groom? This has to be a setup. What exactly do you need? I need sheets. Look at the baby. Look at that. I know. What? I know. Do you want me to steal a baby? <laughs> so how is it going? Well, I went on this date with this one guy on an airplane and he's really really nice he's smart he's funny that's good have you joined any groups have you I'm tried looking to for meet? a synagogue why don't you let me also talk to the rabbis in, at home in Dallas yes okay see who they know here yeah. and then maybe you can follow through and get to talk to some of them and, and then I could date a rabbi <laughs> yeah they may have a cute brother who knows <laughs> Do these colors bleed? Nothing bleeds at all. Oh, Everything right. stays true to the and color. And they stay real soft, even with a, a 200 count. It's, it's, yeah, it's 200. I know, 200 sounds so low, but, it, but they said but it's, it's the like way that it's the way really that, yeah, well and it's single, like, intertwined, so. I'm single, okay. just like me. <laughs> That's going to change, honey. Uh -huh. I know. It's going to change. Okay. Just don't put so much okay. pressure on me. I'm, I'm already putting it on I'm myself. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's it's just when it. I see the little babies. What do I wear to meet a rabbi? Closet full of short skirts. I know better than that. I need to wear something long. Ooh, this is good. Look, Snow White. I gotta cover my arms. Oh, black is good. Oh, no. I always have the turtleneck. Hello, Rabbi. How are you doing? My mom wanted me to go see a rabbi, so I'm going to see Rabbi Shmuley. He wrote this book, Dating Secrets of the Ten Commandments. I'm so excited. Hi. Hi, how are Hi. you? I'm Miss King. Hey. Nice to meet you. Lisa, nice to meet you. Hello, Lisa. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. It's such Molly. a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Hi. Debbie. Hi. Nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. Come on in. What a great family. Come sit down. Thank you. Where should I sit? Right here. It's perfect. Okay. Everyone please be yeah. seated. Yosef. Right. Amen. Amen. So you're becoming more What's traditional that? on your own? Is that what I you're am, doing? yeah. And why is that? Um, I had two relationships back to back that were six year relationships. One that was uh, a that? Catholic guy uh -huh. and one that was very anti-religious. Uh -huh. And I realized that Throughout both, yeah. I thought about getting married and having kids, and I wanted my kids to be raised Jewish. How old are you? I'm 37. You're the same age as my mom. Oh, yeah. yeah See, I'm so behind. You have all your children. Can I just... <laughs> Can I have some of your children? You dated two men yes. for six years each. If That's like a mini work. marriage. Why did you exactly. marry Exactly. One of them because I feel like our friendship was great, but it wasn't meant to be a marriage. The second relationship, though, we really wanted different things in life. But what character traits would you look for in a man? Um, kindness. Okay, kindness. Intelligence. Okay. And, and somebody who's able to love. Okay, but you didn't mention a thing about success. So if the guy was no. an utter failure, you're a famous singer, he's, okay, somebody a, he's a night and... watchman in a local junkyard. But are, if, are you going to date him? Um, if he's really good at it and he loves it. Okay. And that's passion to me. You're passionate about what you do. You're, you're one of those very special people who became famous and didn't change. You didn't become addicted no. to, the, to the red carpets and to the paparazzi. The guy that you will ultimately find to be your husband will be one of those guys who is like you, who, who knows that the secret of life is that little things are really big things. Is what's truly special isn't 10,000 people that scream your name, but it's that one man who knows you better than all those 10,000.
One in 10,000. Could that be Alan? Hi, Steph. Hi, Hi, yeah. hi, hi, hi. Hi. I just have to get my coat. Um, actually, do you have a second? Are we yeah. in a total rush? A little bit, but not terrible. Um, I just uh, didn't know if you saw the post thing. What post thing? I don't read the post. <sighs> Me, I'm in the post? Uh, yeah. Where is it? Big surprise at tonight's book party for Festivus, the holiday for the rest of us. The spectacled songwriter Lisa Loeb will join Jerry Stiller and Ann Mira with Stiller's co-author, former Post reporter Alan Salkin. Loeb is dating Salkin, but Warner Books publicists are worried the canoodling couple will distract attention at the after party. Salkin explained to page six, it's like they're jealous of our happiness. I, I could be wrong, but it seems like he planted this himself because it's good promotion for his thing, and that's it's so totally, lousy. You know what's funny, too? I was trying to figure out if I liked him or not, and you know what? Some decisions, they make themselves. I think it's just rude for him to use this to his advantage. Do you know what I'm thinking is we shouldn't go? Either don't go or show up and confront him. I want to publicly humiliate and shame him. I don't do that, though. I know, but I could. But you know what? I think Debbie's meeting us there anyway, so we should just go there. I know Debbie's going to freak out. Oh, my it's God. Hilarious. Debbie's going to want to punch him in the nose. <laughs> she better not punch him in the nose. Hi, Debs. I've worked with your son, Ben. Hi, Lisa. So good to see you. I didn't know what any of this was all about until they told me that this was going to be a connection with you and Alan. Well, I don't know about that. But uh, anyway, I hope this turns out the way you want it to turn out. Thank you. I'm going to be playing some kind of a character tonight. So well, have fun. I've got to get into the mood. Well, it's good to see you. All right, Lisa. I'll good see you soon. I hope this works out. All right. Good to see you. Thank have you. Have a good night. Tonight. Have a, you have a good night. I don't know what he saw. He hopes it works. I think he read that article too, and he thinks that Alan and I are dating. What? But I didn't want to like explain it to him because it's not even worth it. Oh my god. Did yeah. he say something? Did you guess? Or you just guess? No, he said I hope it all works out like you wanted to. I'm like, what? You know, we're gonna have to talk later. I heard about something that was in the newspaper. I had nothing to do with it. Page six calls me, and they say, you know, what, and so I just said, okay, well, I guess it's out there. I'll just give you a quote. <laughs> The relationship that never happened, it began and it ended before our very eyes. On page six. People all over the world are actually celebrating Festivus. He says he has nothing to do with it, but he gave them a quote. Well, which one is it, mister? Most of you probably know, but the basics of the holiday are there's an aluminum pole in the place of, in this place. There's even, a, there's even a, a company in Milwaukee that's now selling Festivus poles, and there's instructions. Oh, Lisa. Man, I haven't seen you since the reality so nice. bites over. Yeah, it's so nice to see you. Jerry, give Lisa Loeb a kiss. We also, I know we... Yes, Lisa. Yeah. We'll talk later. Well, we can talk later. We'll hang out and we'll talk about it. Yes. Okay. on your successful book Thanks. reading. There was a zillion people there. And you sold out of your books? I sold all the books. Because people were buying a lot of them, I saw. I know. My cousin's bought like 15. Sellers. I met yeah. your cousin. I met your cousin and your uncle. Right? Yep. <coughs> they apparently had read the article in the post. I sort of don't read gossip usually, and I sort of have a thing against it. But somebody kept, people kept calling me all day about it. People were calling me saying, are you dating Lisa Lowe? And I was like, somebody is like calling this around. And then page six called me. You know, they were going to do an item. 
there's nothing that the train had left the station and I just figured well I have my reading if they're gonna do this I'm gonna, I want my book mentioned you know listen if I was you I would be it would bother me you know yeah I'm not you're, you're a celebrity and I'm not well I try not to go on dates with anybody who have any reason to be in a house of calm. Like, I don't, I'm really like, that's, I'm just like a real normal person who doesn't, you know, even when I was dating somebody who's a celebrity, we didn't appear in gossip column. It, we were very careful not to do that. It's just not, doesn't really feel super comfortable. Um, I still would like to go out. Let's hang out when I get back for my book tour. Well, we'll just see. So thank you for the friendship flowers. I really do appreciate that. And, you know, I'm still going to snoop around a little bit about that article. I can't help it. Okay. Is it still raining? No. I don't know where my umbrella is. You're going this way? You're going that way? I'm going that way. Okay. Thank you. See you soon. Have a good trip. Okay. Okay? Thank you. And I really appreciate you Thank coming you to the uh, high five. Oh, okay. I like a high five. No, no, it was a side. Okay. Hi. New York. There we go. Brighter than the ones you had. Then.